वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन सुपरपोजिशन थियरम इन दिस वीडियो सो हियर यू सी वी हैव वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क एंड इन दैट वी आर डील विथ टू फाइंड वी ए वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस टू ओम रजिस्टर बाई यूजिंग सुपर पोजिशन थियरम सो इन सुपर पोजिशन थियरम वॉट वी विल बी डूइंग इज will be considering this two voltage source first and we will remove this current source and voltage source after that i'll consider this one ampere current source and i'll remove this voltage source and this voltage source after that i'll consider this voltage source and i'll remove this voltage source and this current source and due to each of this source i'll be calculating value of va and at last i'll do algebraic sum of all those voltage right but when you remove voltage source or current source at that time you should take care of few things this voltage source should be short circuited and this current source should be open circuited when you eliminate that so let us apply superposition theorem by first considering this voltage source which is of two voltage and due to that let us find value of va now you see we need to consider this two voltage source only right so current source should be open circuited so let me remove this current source it should be open circuited and this voltage source that should be short circuited so let me do short circuit of this voltage source so you see now i have short circuited this right now what will be voltage over here so let us say that is va dash due to this voltage source right so now to solve this va dash i can say you see this 2 ohm and 2 ohm that is there in parallel combination right so that will make it to 1 ohm resistance only as you see it is there in parallel connection so now you see this is 1 ohm only right now it is very easy to identify va dash as this two is having parallel connection that is equals to 1 ohm so voltage va dash due to two voltage that will be va dash now there will be voltage divider rule so here total voltage 2 into this resistance that is 2 divided by algebraic sum of all resistors which is there in series so 1 plus 2 plus 1 so i can say this is 2 by 4 into 2 so that is 1 voltage right so i got the value of va dash which is happening due to this 2 voltage source battery now what i'll do is i'll be considering this current source right and due to which we will identify voltage at this 2 ohm resistor so now what we need to do is we need to consider this 1 ampere current source so i'll be removing this 2 voltage source and voltage source should be short circuited so i need to have short circuit of this voltage source and i need to have short circuit of this voltage source now because of this 1 ampere current i need to find the value of va over here right now see if i say because of this current source value is va double dash then i'll identify va double dash step by step you see now here what i need to do is i need to see how much current that is getting diverted in this direction and in this direction let us say in this direction current is i a double dash so that will gives you idea about how much value which is there over here so for that i need to simplify this circuit where you see this 2 ohm and this 2 ohm that is there in parallel so that will make it to 1 ohm now you see this 2 parallel that is making it to 1 ohm now see how much current that is getting diverted in this direction so that is purely based on you see i a double dash that is equals to total current i 
into another resistor. So another resistor is 1 ohm divided by both of these resistance addition. So this resistance is 1 and this resistance is series of 2 and 1. So that is 3. So I is 1. So 1 into 1 by 4. So that is 0 0.25 ampere. Now you see as current direction is this VA double dash that will be having this polarity only plus minus so it will be plus only right. So I can say VA double dash that will be current into resistance. So that will be IA double dash into R and that is 2, 0.25 into R is 2. So this will be 0 0.5 voltage. So now I got the value of VA double dash and that is happening due to 1 ampere current source. So I got the value of VA dash which is happening because of this 2 voltage source and I got the value due to this current source. Now I need to consider this battery and due to which I will be finding value of VA which is happening over here. Now I need to consider this voltage source only. So this current source should be open circuited and this voltage source should be short circuited. So let me remove this current source as it is open circuited and this voltage source that should be short circuited. So I am just shorting it you see. Now here you see this 4 voltage source is producing voltage here and that should be considered as VA triple dash right. Now see to identify VA triple dash how will we identify it. So for that see I need to understand how much current that is going over here. Let us say it is IA triple dash right. So IA triple dash that we get to know only if we have idea about what is the current I over here. Right. So our agenda is to identify total current. Right. Now how to identify total current? By solving this entire circuit. Right. Now you see in this circuit, these two resistor that is there in series. Right. So I can say that series combination that is making it to three resistor. Right. So this two series that is leading to 3 ohm resistor over here and these two are there in parallel to each other. So parallel combination that is 3 into 2 divided by 3 plus 2. So 6 by 5 and that is 1.2. So now equivalent of this two now that will be this will be 1.2 ohm. Now as per this simple loop we can easily identify what is the current I. So you see current I that is voltage V divided by both of these resistance that is 2 plus 1.2 ohm. Right. And this is what 4 voltage. So 4 divided by 3.2. So that will be 1.25. So 1.25 that is I. Now we got the value of I. So what is I triple dash? So over here I triple dash that will be total current I into another resistor that is 2 ohm divided by addition of this two resistor. So that is 3 plus 2. So 1.25 into 2 by 5. So that is I A triple dash. So that is 0 0.5. Now you see I A triple dash that is 0 0.5 ampere that we got right. Now if you observe I A triple dash that is happening in this direction. So polarity wise we will be having this polarity which is opposite compared to this. So I can say V A triple dash that will be I A triple dash into resistance R and polarity will be minus as per 
the calculation of VA should be by plus minus like this. So I can say IA triple dash that is 0 0.5 into 2. So this will be minus 1 voltage. So now we have VA dash, VA double dash and VA triple dash, right? VA dash that is 1 voltage, VA double dash that is 0 0.5 voltage and VA triple dash that is minus 1 voltage. So total voltage VA as per superposition theorem that is algebraic sum of voltage due to each of these sources and that is 1 plus 0 0.5 minus 1 and that will be 0 0.5 voltage. So this value of VA that is 0 0.5 voltage. I hope you have understood this, right? Usually see, I don't prefer superposition theorem, right? When many sources are given to you. But in university examination, I have seen specifically there is a question like solve this circuit by superposition theorem. That's why I have shown you this way by which you can easily solve any question, right? Still, if you have any confusion, you just let me know by writing into the comment box. I'll be happy to help you.